So here we have a simple uh, trigonometric proof. So let's manipulate either side of the, of the uh, equation and see if we can get one side is equal to the other. So what we are given is 1 plus cosine 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine squared theta. Great. So what we're going to do is manipulate, say, the left-hand side until it's resembling the right-hand side. So we need to use a couple of truths here, a couple of identities, to change this around. So we can immediately change, uh, leave this one alone, actually, and then we'll say that cosine of 2 theta, we can just write that as cosine of theta plus theta. Great, so that's the same. And then what we can do here is use the law of additions, which says that this, so this is still 1, plus this can be written as cosine theta times cosine theta minus sine theta times sine theta, which is, of course, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So 1 plus cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So we have a sine squared theta here and not here. So let's replace this in favor of cosine, given the identity, so this is just a side note here, given the identity that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So we're going to replace this sine squared theta with cosine minus 1. So it's minus, so we're going to say minus cosine. Let's see, so this is minus. We have a minus here. We'll have cosine squared minus 1. So let's write this as 1 plus cosine squared theta. And then we have minus, here we have minus cosine, so plus cosine squared theta minus 1. So now we can simplify this. 1 minus 1 is 0. Cosine squared plus cosine squared gives us 2 cosine squared theta. Is that what we originally had up here? Yes, it is. 2 cosine squared theta. So we have something equals the exact same thing, and our proof is done. Check.